joined by the Shadow Secretary of State for levelling up, Lisa Nandi. Lisa Nandi, welcome to uh, the show. You are speaking to Conference Hall this afternoon. Give us a sneak preview. Well, I'll be setting out more about Labour's plans to get power and wealth distributed much more widely across this country. Clear dividing lines have opened up in the last few weeks. The Tories think that you can grow the economy and build a country by the few, for the few. We think all people and all places have to contribute to the country's success and all people should have a stake. That's why we're promising to invest, to get good jobs, clean energy jobs back into coastal and industrial towns so that we can get money back into people's pockets. And it's also why I'll say something this afternoon about housing as well. We're going into the hardest winter that many people can imagine with soaring housing costs as well as energy bills and food prices. We don't believe that housing is a market. Housing is a fundamental human right. And we're going to tilt power back to people, particularly in the private rented sector, so that people have far more security in their own homes. We heard from the woman who you hope will be the Chancellor, the country's Chancellor, in uh, the next Labour government, should you be able to form it. She wanted to stress that Labour wants to be the party of economic competence. There's a lot of responsibility in there, but actually, was there enough radicalism? Don't you need to present a, a, a really different offer? Was it inspiring enough? Well, look, three years ago we came to Labour Party conference having suffered our worst election defeat in a century. We lost the trust of people to govern. The first line in Labour's constitution says we seek the trust of the people to govern and through a combination of unfunded spending commitments, not being careful with people's money at a time when they haven't got a lot of it, through a combination of Brexit and unpopular leader, we fundamentally broke that trust. We've rebuilt that trust now. I've come to this conference here today to say not only can you trust us with your money, we know you haven't got a lot of it and we'll spend it wisely. That's why all our funding commitments, spending commitments are fully costed and fully funded, but that we have a plan for Britain. There's still borrowing involved though. Both parties will borrow. Well, sure, but you know, the difference between us and the Tories is that last week they set out around £30 billion of tax cuts targeted at the very wealthy and refused to release the impact assessment, the Office of Budget Responsibility, which traditionally publishes forecasts um, alongside it. And by doing so, what they've done is create enormous instability in the markets. The value of the pound is falling. That will push up oil and gas prices. They've created the perfect storm. What we're doing is setting out plans that are fully funded, fully costed. We know how we're going to pay for them and we understand the impact that that will have. That is being safe, sensible, careful with the future of the country, not gambling it away on the hope that you can go for broke and win the next general election. 